Hi all, good morning and welcome back to Food is Good channel and today we are going to talk about a dish which is chawal ki roti and or roti made out of rice flour so we are going to teach you how to make uh, uh, chawal ki roti or ri uh, roti made of rice flour so let's go ahead and look at the ingredients we have 2 cups of rice flour we have jeera now ideally if you have black jeera you can put that or if you do not have that use the regular jeera also so we are going to use the regular jeera as you can see we have some salt and we have ghee now let me show you the process of how we are going to make the flour and what we are going to do to the flour so we will take uh, one, tea, uh, 1 teaspoon of jeera not so what I have done is I have added 1 teaspoon of jeera not too much of jeera and then we'll add salt to it based on your um, your preference and salt for taste not too much of salt we do not put too much of salt here in our household and then we'll add some ghee maybe two spoons of ghee now the important point here is when you pour in the in water in this flour the water should be a little bit hot not boiling but hot so that is a very important uh, tip that we're passing on to you that use hot water to put it into maida and when i put the hot water into it i'll use the spoon to mix it around and after one well, after some time there will be a stage where you can do it with hand but initially we'll do it with spoon because you know we are putting hot water so you do not want to burn your hand you put in hot water mix the flour well with all the ingredients that we have initially put in so that they mix well so do that before you put put in the hot water so now i'm started adding the hot water so you have to constantly mix it as you keep on adding the hot water slowly otherwise it will turn into lumps so let's keep on uh, mixing it as we keep on putting in the hot water Okay guys, so after mixing it with spoon, now this is the stage, it has reached, it is it is little bit solidified but it is crumpled, now it is the time where you can use your hand to bind it, so our attempt is to just bind it, it should not be, we should not be putting too much force on it, we are just trying to bind it, because at this stage, now you can do it with hand. Okay guys, so the floor is ready now let's bind it up now what we are going to do is we have to make it so initially take a big ball and make it a smooth circle smooth circle and now you have to make chapati out of it now to do it easy in an easier manner just press it a little bit press it a little bit now the advantage of using um, hot water is that you will not see cracks on it. Now when you um, use the rolling pin, roll it very smoothly. But before, put some flour on the rolling sheet here that we have. Place the chapati here. And then you can dip it again and then put more flour on it and again. Put it here press it a little bit and when you roll it roll it gently now one more very important tip here is guys this rice flour is very uh, is best when you use it fresh if you think i'll make this rice flour then i'll use it tomorrow then it doesn't have that freshness tomorrow so the best tip that we can give you is make the rice flour and make the chapatis and get it done with so you can have it fresh and finish it uh, when it is fresh so let's start the rolling now okay guys before we even go for more of the rolling keep on pressing on it till you can make it bigger as much as you can through by using your hand and then at the end stage we'll go for the rolling so now it looks good enough and now we will roll the roti so i've taken the rolling pin and i go smooth Okay, so after rolling, we have come to this stage. Now at any stage you feel feel like rolling is 
getting a little uncomfortable keep on spreading the roti again with using your hands using your hands and then use a gentle roll now when we put it on tawa again a tip for you guys pick it up gently pick it up gently it might happen that it might break so usually the trick suggested do it like this like this slowly steadily slowly steadily and it's on tawa so now let it cook so guys it has been cooked from one side and gently we'll lift it again and turn it over so you can see a little bit brownish patches here so it's cooked a little bit so we'll do it uh, one or two times more till we get that texture that we see okay guys so on the side that we see the brown patches we are going to add ghee and put it well enough because it needs to cook well from one side for it to be good and stable so we'll add ghee you if you want you can add butter but ghee is the best option to go with so as you see i put good enough ghee and now i'm going to turn it over again so the texture now looks good and on this side also we are going to put ghee so guys it's ready now we'll take it out and put it on the plate the best way to see if it is ready or not you can break it and see how well the layer has come so this is a a sign of good uh, chawal ki roti and this is best served and particularly in our household with kashmiri tea it is either kahwa or the salt tea now both of those teas how to make it i'm going to show it in you uh, show it to you guys in upcoming videos but you also have choice of having this rotis with eggs regular tea so that's the best option you can also so whatever suit, suits you if you have vegetable at home have it with vegetables anything that helps you eat it so i get, uh, thank you guys and i hope you like what you see have uh, if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon to receive future notifications thank you all and have a great day